Hi and welcome to this DCP Web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the count function in Microsoft Excel. So let's open up this folder on my desktop. I've got this spreadsheet here with some sample data. All we have is a sales column. So this is the date something was sold. This is the product or the service that was sold. And this is the cost for that particular product, right? And we want to calculate how many cells are in this particular column, for example. So we can use the count function and then we can use that count function to calculate other calculations afterwards. So let's click down in here and type in equals and type in count, C-O-U-N-T, and then we'll click, double click on the count function. And it's asking us for values here. So we can, we can select these values here and then go ahead and close the bracket and hit enter and we'll get 15, right? 15 in total. And we can see that there is 15 days in this spreadsheet, right? The first one is a header and we've got 16 rows. So if we minus off the header, we'll have 15 rows of data. So the count allows us to calculate how many entries or how many rows of data are in a particular column, for example, yeah? Now we can use that information to do other calculations. So for example, we've got a sum function here. So we could type in equals for example, sum, and then we can double click on the sum function and then select all of these values here as well and, and then close the bracket and then hit enter. Now we've got a grand total and we could calculate an average based on our grand total divided by the number of entries. So we could click here, we could type in equals this value divided by this value and then hit enter and that gives us an average. We could use the average function as well, but I'm just giving you an example of how to use the count function within a separate formula, right? So you can see that that's how it's working. Now, one thing to note, count will only work on numeric values. So if we double click on here, and if we grab that series or that selection and drag it over to product, these are labels, these are text-based entries and we hit enter, we're gonna get a null value here. It won't work, but it will work on dates because they contain numeric values, right? click here and then hit enter and we can see it will give us 15 as well so just remember the count function will only work on numeric data so if we drag it back to here and hit enter we'll get that value here's our sum and here's our average so you can use this count function to give you a grand total of a selected column for example the number of entries and you can use that value to calculate other values afterwards right so that's how I use the, the count function in Microsoft Excel. I will be doing another tutorial, maybe explaining some other functions or how you can use the count function. But this one is just about how it actually works uh, and how to utilize it in a basic example. So let's go ahead and close this spreadsheet. Let's save this work and let's close this down. That's how you go about using the count function in Microsoft Excel. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can access over 600 video tutorials. That's the end of this video tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.